hello everybody welcome to swashbucklers how you doing as part of our pathfinder series we're going to uh make a swashbuckler and read the class and learn it and try to figure out what the fuck a swashbuckler is so that's gonna be exciting but there is no uh i like to make these characters we also have a heart ray monitor we're also doing this during a subathon explains all the the knickknacks and why i'm wearing the sign on my head anyway uh we're also joined by the lovely crow We are also joined by the lovely crow. He said hello. What do oh, you want from me? We didn't, we didn't pick it up. Oh, it's like I said words. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cristelia does not have a iconic swashbucklers or many swashbucklers at all. So we're going to be making a character from scratch. And then we're going to be reading the book and building them and stuff. So, chat. Music's too loud in my ear holes. Tell me, swashbuckler. What do we want to do? What do we think of? What do we think of when we think of a swashbuckler? Oh, actually, wait, I might have an idea, chat. Wait a minute. This might be too derivative, but it could be a starting point. Oh, I didn't say, oh shit. Someone just sent me the picture and not the Twitter it comes from. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's, um, they put their watermark on it. Okay, so we have this. And I'm starting to think this is a starting point. Oh my god. Cat girl swashbuckler. You know I'm, I'm into it. You know who else might be a, a, a good source of inspiration? What? Remember Hot Gun Lady from Final Fantasy XIV? Whose name you always make fun of? No, I make fun of a lot of names on there. That's okay. It's Meryl Wood, the the oh Maelstrom. oh she's a swashbuckler. She she's a she's a gun she's a machinist so she has a gun but she is a pirate <laughs> lady. So gotcha. Oh my god! Wait, we don't have any aesthetic. pirates. Okay. We make pirates. I think we're making a Spanish pirate. I think that's what we're doing. We. I think we're making a Spanish pirate, guys, because we have a whole pirate set. I don't think we have a single pirate character. So, I'm thinking pirate. You know what I'm thinking of, chat. You know exactly who I'm thinking of for inspiration. Boom, baby. I can't see it yet. What's Final Fantasy XIV lady's name? Uh, Meryl Wib. M-E-R-L-Y-B. I would have never gotten that. That's okay. I knew it, yeah. Catgirl Swashbuckler. I know we wrote down Orc, but we do have Catgirls. Do the pirates have lore in the setting yet? Do we have pirate lore or just this is the pirate area? Understandable. Hmm. This looks similar, kind of? What looks similar? Well, this Misfortune, is... probably. Oh yeah, Misfortune is a, is a very popular character. We're not gonna yeah. give her guns. But I like the I aesthetic. feel like when I think of yeah, I think when I, I feel like when I think of Swashbuckler, I think of like sword. That's yeah, just definitely. Kinda... I was gonna say if you're gonna use misfortune as inspiration, Captain Fortune and Rune King Fortune. Oh yeah, that's what I, that's what I googled. Sure. Yeah, regular misfortune is not a character. I well can't argue with you. So, our swashbuckler. Do we like... I know what chat's gonna pick, right? But do we like... Orc or cat girl? We'll figure out what we do... How, what cat girl means in Pathfinder later. What do we like, chat? So we can zoom in here so people can see with their eye. I'm not chat, but I'm gonna say orc. One vote for orc? Here, you know what? I'll do a poll. Hold on. 
There you go. I mean, this would not look this would not look bad as an orc. Orc mommy, cackerel, orc. Okay, so orc is winning right now. Oh, you're about to do the poll. Guys, there's a poll. Pick your poll. Pick your pick your fucking uh, pirate lady. Everybody here has good taste. Listen, there's nothing wrong with a good cat girl. However, no, there's nothing wrong with a good cat girl. However, however, the uh, the Rogadins in Final Fantasy are kind of the orc equivalent. So when I think of that, I think of Merwood. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, strong facial features. Not mine this time, yeah. You can make the cat girl as the second. Oh, the quartermaster cat girl? I like that idea. I mean, we're just gonna make a swashbuckler right now. It's just an excuse. There's a time for placing for cat girls, and on a ship is not one of them. There are actually no cat girl pirates because cats hate water. That's canon. <laughs> He's winning uh, by far, by the way. By Let's fucking go. I, chat, I kind of like the blazing red hair. Is it derivative? Maybe. Also, sexy. Standable. Who would eat all the vermin on the ship? Okay. <laughs> Ew. There's one cat girl. Ew. <laughs> and you're walking on a ship. You walk on a ship, you hear a commotion, you're just like, what there? You look and you see fucking, like, like the, the cat girl fucking uh, quartermaster with a fucking rat in her mouth, just looking up at you like... I hate this. Okay, orc. Ethnicity, where are they from? They have green eyes, they could be of corrosive origin. What crystal do we want, we want them from, chat? Give me some suggestions. Where is she from? Where is she from in this wide world of Crystallia? Oh, this is a bad website. Oops. What do you... I clicked a link and opened up to Danver. I'm just lucky it's a... Uh, Texas. Thank you. Um, you could do... I mean, if you want to go, like, pretty easy, you can go... Yeah, that's what Bagman said. I would go with the water crystal area. Oh, okay. She could be... Yeah, she could be water descended. You have bright blue eyes. Really easy. have a name for the water city so we're just gonna say water is her ethnicity that's how that works fiery red hair okay guys give me some details or story beats we should do story where does she come from where does she go what does she do why does she pirate um have empires we have a uh we have valuables in the pirate islands we have uh coffee beans and chocolate There's the Fae bleed over there too. So like, there's like a space storm where weird shit happens. Geography changes. Totally off topic, but slightly off topic. Mm -hmm. This is making me want to rebuild my first Pathfinder character. It's so fucking good. Do it. Fight. I would rebuild him to not be a bard, but What are you doing? Nothing. What is that doing? I hate it. Stop. Ah! 
I'm going to kill you. Oh. Thank you. Your knife is very close to my throat and my titties. Yeah. Okay, fiery red hair. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit you with an idea. Naval officer. Um, gypped? I don't know how to spell gypped. I don't think that, is that a real word? Gypped? Ripped off? No, but it's also... Oh, gypped. Yeah. Gypped. Uh... Okay. Just say ripped off. I'm gonna say short changed. Just say ripped off. Short changed. For a job. And she defected to be a pirate. Idea. Gypped is a slur, by the way. Not like that, Bagman. Wait, is... No. He's correct. That's why I was telling you to change it. <laughs> Didn't want to be like, hey, by the way. Oh my god, is Gypped actually... Is that actually a slur? Yeah. Wh well, it comes from... I can't... Hold on. I'm not gonna say it. I'll type it. Oh god! Yeah. Oh no! Oh shit! Holy shit! You didn't know. Now you do. I'm reading the history on Google. What the fuck? Yeah. I use this word. Not anymore. Okay. Short change is what we're using. No. Bots! They come in droves! They or apparently two two team two person teams. Yeah. Okay. Naval officer who was short chains and she defected to be a pirate. So like military professional. She has training. Uh something like that. That's an option. You could also do okay. Um Career pirate? Born into pirate dumb. So her parents were pirates, or whoever raised her was a pirate. Love. Nice work. Oh, you got them. Nice, nice. Yeah. Fastest hands in the West. I know, for once. Uh, Especially with both Bagman and Skybird in the chat. You, usually I'm the last out of the three, but I'll take it. <laughs> As a, someone of uh, minor lineage, it's pretty wild that people still use it often. Uh, I had no idea that's where that... Because I spell it with a J. I never even made yeah. the association. I was ignorant. But now I am now learning. Not. There you go. And I'm Mr. Outdated. Thank you, Mr. Outdated. This is for you, Mr. Outdated. There you go. Alright, what are the reasons does someone become a pirate? Poor resident of New Water that sought fortune in the seas. Oh, they got fired from the Navy. Oh. Oh. Fired from the Navy. Why would they have gotten fired? What did they do that the Navy fired them? Hear me out, right? 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 What if they were looking into some kind of corruption? Oh! Leveling up three times? Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. You can get fired for many stuff? Yeah, but why would this person get fired? Oh, oh, oh! And the channel point, VIP. Waiting for the third. Poor to power rebel archetype? True. We don't know if it's gonna be iconic. We're just making a character right now. And here's the third. 
There we go, Prune. Look at you. Let me let me get you those plus three real quick. Took the blame for superior blender. You are now at 13. Oh, you're tied with Skybird Prune. Oh! I wish I could give my channel points to just aid this rivalry. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Whoever's at the top. We can do gambles. More gambles. True. Did you add the two extra for you, Skybird? I did, yeah. Now you guys are tied both to 13. Uh, if you if I put channel points into a into a gamble, I can't. Uh, what's it called? I can't determine the winner of the gamble. Gotcha. Like I'm not allowed to pick it. I thought I was 11 before this. You were at 10. Now you're at 13. Corruption is a good one. Give them a reason to hate the establishment without feeling unrelatable. Took blame for superior corruption. Corruption is relatable. I think it could be cool if they were like trying to investigate something that was going on and then Interesting. They, they got caught doing that and then yeah okay so with that picture i like it i like fired for corruption finding corruption in the navy the non-legal way yeah okay well we're making a good character here and i'm not saying it's a bad thing i love making good characters is that what we want to do we want to we want to have this sort of a uh, plucky pirate that's a uh, good guy good on alignment we'll see why not it kind of takes since we are a little bit derivative with the uh appearance you could go a little off path and make it a good pirate it's true i mean puss in boots is good misfortune is poorly written and i don't know about uh merlib merlib is very good Ball guy, if the character doesn't have much investigation skills. True, true, true. Yeah. Oh, I, mm, I mean, I don't think you need to be like a master investigator. Just be like, hey, these numbers aren't adding up, you know? Yeah. Ball guys exist in the military all the time. Oh, yeah, a chaotic good pirate. We like that. that we like that. So fun. All right. Damn. Okay, that does give you the lead. Puts you up to 14. Boom! Just splitting different opinions? Yeah. Actually, we go with a lawful good part that follows our own moral call to the letter. Okay, now we're cooking. Hold on. Now we're cooking. Oh. Now we're cooking. Oh. oh, wait a minute. You like that. Is really slowing down. Oh, all of Chrome is. The Kingdom Hearts music started playing, and Chrome just like could not handle the power of friendship. Nope, still not responding. Boat's Law is the only law on this crew. Okay, I really like this idea, especially if there were a naval officer to be lawful. We need a code, though. We have to, like, I mean, unless you want to find one somewhere that you like, you probably oh, no. have to. Just, yeah, just like someone give, like, suggestions. It. Oh, okay. So, rear pirate, poor resident of New Water. And so. So I'm feeling 40s for age. Yeah. 
right? Because yeah. we like could do... 30s, early 40s. We could do a poor resident of New Water that joined the Navy because they had nothing else. Mm. You don't like that? No, no, I was... That was like a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I like so... That. I like that. They were a penny pincher. Maybe kind of like... Uh, you know, like, Caitlin or Kane saw, like, a cop who was good at her job, so she was like, I want to be a good cop? Yeah. So maybe this character saw the Navy as something really cool. I Navy's rules of operation. Character from fucking One Piece. I don't know what? anything about him. There's a character in One Piece at the very, like, I don't, I haven't watched all of One Piece. Let me start there. So I don't know anything past, like, first season. Okay. But there's a character in One Piece that was like really looked up to the Navy in One Piece and joined was gonna join, but then they saw that the Navy was doing some really fuck shit. Yeah. Then, yeah. We was, love One Piece. Very basically. I don't know anything about One Piece. I'm doing my best here. Prune's playing another one. Now Prune's at fifteen, oh, baby. My God. If Chrome doesn't die on me. Prune Pilfer Prestige Rank 15. Good shit, dude. Let's fucking go. Can we get some applause? Sorry, I'm filming a YouTube video, so I wasn't like... <laughs> Can we get applause for, for Prune just like bopping down five fucking VIPs? We appreciate you, Prune. All you do for the channel. Oh. Oh, we might have a fight on our hands. Skybird, bumping himself up to 14. Ooh. Ooh. What's they gonna do? What they gonna do? Drake. Is Drake the marine pirate you were thinking of? Hey, hold on. I don't I think so. Hold on. Kobe. Unless he becomes. Unless this is a thing that happens later that I don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The little, the little pink-haired kid. Navy enlisted when they can. I like what? Sorry, I like what uh, Bagman said for code. Kind of Robin Hood. -y. Oh, nice. Uh, fucking, it got eaten up by chat. Read it for me, Crow. Uh, coming from a poor background, I would say give mercy to your enemies, allow surrender, give aid to people in a worse situation than you. Fair treatment of criminals. Fair punishment to criminals, you said. Fair treatment. Yeah. Classic, I love this. I love that I'm just on the clock right now waiting. <laughs> so I'm like, to I sign out? So, uh, what? To what uh waiting to clock out? Yeah, pretty much. I like this code. I like this code. Okay, we're cooking. We're cooking here. They would have seen growing up and how they would likely have some idea the current regime has failed. Yes, exactly. Served for a while. Now, are they a captain of a ship? Because we can write an endearing pirate captain, a pirate character that's not a captain. But are they a girl boss captain of their ship? That's the move. Yeah, I feel like if, if, if we're making a character, it's possibly an iconic. Yeah. All right. Raised rank to someone they can. I do have a sweet spot for a girl boss captain. Oh yeah, baby. Moved up. Let's be real. Yes.
Now, why? What was the corruption that they saw? How did they get fired? Even better if she was kept as low rank because of sexist commanders. Do we have sexism in the water? I don't know. Do we have sexism in the Navy? Do we want sexism in the Navy? Do you want to? No idea. I don't think a crew would expect a level one swashbuckler, so we're not going to build them at level one. You think I would go through all this trouble to build the le first level swashbuckler? Doesn't have to be in the Navy. Oh, not a systemic problem, you mean? Could just be a specific person? Well, true, true. The person that they looked up to? Actually a scumbag? Ooh. I'm I'm into it. I'm here for it. Potentially the first person she killed after turning into a pirate. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Now we're cooking. Person looked in the Navy was actually a scumbag kept promotions from her. Um We didn't figure out the actual corruption though. Her race or background that she was kept for promotions? Oh, and honestly, it could be anything. She's an orc, she's a woman, and she is poor. Yeah. Why are you too afraid to see it? True, true, true. How do we, uh... What was the actual thing? Like, Skybird, you said they have fall guys all the time. Like, what, what's like a, what's like a typical thing they need a fall guy for? Or, now we're pod racing? Yeah. We're playing fall guys now. That was, I said fall guy way too many times. Um, you could do something along the lines of, like... I had a thought and it went away. <laughs> gotcha. Smuggling drugs to poor air to make money and keep them down. Ooh, smuggling drugs yeah, you could into go like a, water. You could also go, like, a Silco, almost, route where it's, like... Same idea, pretty much, but... Ooh, smuggling and human traffic. That's some dark shit. We don't have- we don't have a lot of dark shit in the setting yet. Bad policy to get scalers and the Admiral blame specific captain for it, even though the orders came from above. Gotcha. Policy gets men killed. Now, there are, with these two at least, story implications that I think are good. Because if they're smuggling drugs into New Water, suddenly that's a plot hook. Someone's smuggling drugs into New Water. Drugs are getting smugged in, smuggled into New Water, and like people can do something about that or not do something about it. You know, that's a plot hook basically right there. Even after our character kills, you know, the person who was in charge, there probably is still drug smuggling. So, like, that might be part of yeah. our arc to save people. Same thing with human trafficking. Who are they trafficking? That's a whole ass thing. Why are they trafficking these people? And then suddenly, now it's a mission. Let's save these people who are being human trafficked. And I actually like human trafficking because it kind of mimics real-world slavery. And... I want to clip that out of context. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I... <laughs> Kind of like human trafficking. Um, I like the idea of putting that in here because, like, okay, you save a, a shipment of people who are being human trafficked. Suddenly, you have a crew of pirates. Is that a little fucked up? Yes, but the storytelling works. I mean, it works though. Yeah. It's like it's not like you're forcing these people to be pirates. You're just like, hey, we need a crew, yeah. and if you have, if you want to help people like you, that's what I meant by that. Not, oh, you're ours now. You're gonna be our crew. <laughs> of course, Citrus is here to hear that. Assassin's Creed Four did that down with Adawale. Adawale, yeah. 
Otawale was, uh, Edward rescued Otawale from a slave ship and he became his quartermaster. Okay, I'm gonna write something. I'm gonna write something. I'm gonna write something. I'm gonna write something. Kill my darling right there. We're gonna kill that darling before it festers. Anyway. Um Who would they human traffic? Why would we have I mean you don't need a specific ancestry of people to be human trafficked. Like people just human traffic people for fucked up reasons. So we don't need like, yeah. oh, these are special people that are human trafficked because their blood tastes like sugar or something, you know? Like we could just be like okay. Yeah, they're human trafficking people. Focus on your character first. Yeah. True, but I feel like this informs the character. The people that are being human trafficked are going to, uh, you know, potentially be part of her arc and her crew. Something new. I do like human trafficking, though. Okay, so person they looked up in the Navy, so we're gonna. Born in poverty. Hey, what? You gotta stop saying I like human trafficking. Though. Listen. CONTEXT! Especially... Captain... Name. I love when I do that. Look at that. I'm gonna have the BRB in a minute here. But no I will be... I'll stay in call, I'll just be Devin. Actually, it has to be bigger than Captain if she's a Captain, right? Yeah. Wait, what if... Hmm. Okay, idea. Idea. What if she was never captain? She dreamed of being a captain, but this guy kept her from that, right? Yeah. Okay. With dreams of one day captaining her own vessel when she's a pirate yeah captain position or captain the rank i i don't know skybird i don't know the difference missionary the position or missionary the rank um I can't stand you what that being said i'll be back okay own vessel uh they rose in the ranks all the way up to being you can captain a ship and still be a lower rank than captain okay rose in the ranks all the way up to being the first mate of a vessel i don't know what the naming convention for navy ships are so, I, we can't name the ship right now. Just saying captain until we figure out... Yeah. Could be interesting if she never wanted to be captain, but realized one day she could affect the real change by moving up in the ranks. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, dreams of not being a captain... Um... Hmm. I think, I think Bagman, I think what's more interesting is if they had selfish dreams and then became a good person instead of being a good person from the start, right? So if they just wanted to be captain for kind of like the fame, the fortune, the money for it, and then the, they witness the corruption that happened and the human trafficking, and then that elevates them to just be like, no, I want to save people. I don't want to be a captain anymore. I think. Maybe she, though, the, thought the bad guy would listen to her and make the change. First mate of a vessel. Okay. Person they looked up to was actually a scumbag, kept promotions from her. 
Okay. So let's try to finish an arc before we put more meat into this. So they looked up, blah, blah, blah. Let's do human trafficking. Oh god, I'm hungry. Oh, I haven't eaten. Oh boy. So wanna buy me food? As I entirely forget to feed myself? I'm a human person. I'm an adult. Money. It's alright, Mr. Dated. Mmm, mmm. Are you a bag man? Austin, you wanna buy me food? Yeah, get me some Chinese food. So. Okay, Rex, have a good one. Have a good day. I feel like she should get punished for doing the right thing. Because that's how I like to play my characters. I like making them suffer for being good people. So, on one voyage, she accidentally found out her cargo was happened IRL recently hmm do you think she has done during her time in the Navy was clouded by the tinge of propaganda yeah definitely she actually found out her cargo was people I don't know how to word that meet specific person that either fucking dies or is important. Um, she does all she can to free them and let them go. Uh, she brings up the incident with the captain and higher ups. This causes an investigation. Um, investigation. Which ends with her being the fall guy. She is sent to jail in pirate place. If the cargo is people and she tried to drop them off- Okay, so no. Here's what I think happened, right? I think she let- Um- I think she let the people go and sent- give them to, like, the escape ships. Like, the emergency ships, like, when the ship is sinking. And then let them go on those. So, not only did she cost them, um, cargo, people, also their escape vessels, you know. Because she's not captaining the ship, she's just a first mate. So she can't be like, we're taking these people home. She's like, I'm gonna get you out of here, this must be some mistake. The Navy wouldn't traffic humans, that's not something that the government does. Yeah, it came back to the time. Oh, Bagman, I got you. I mean, I think with what I wrote, it could be either way. This could be systematic or just one person. Thank you so much, Austin. I love you. I appreciate you. Not parasocially. You gotta be careful. That word. What? Fuck, I don't want to watch that. 
Okay. I'm getting distracted by YouTube already. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because the, the investigation could, you know, they could stage evidence and, you know, say that, oh, she's doing it, Navy, not me. Incident. 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 Um, okay, where do we take her adventure from here? Where do we take- because right now she's in jail. <laughs> Goes through character moment. Realizing person she looked up to was bad bad wrong even and maybe not all it's cracked up to be um cop sees thank you oh she smuggled herself and then she does a jailbreak could worse shot the car or what if Okay, this makes her a little less active of a protagonist. What if she's rescued by the people she rescued? It, it makes her a little bit less active, because the alternative would be, like, she escapes, she causes a jailbreak, and she starts her own thing. Could workshop the cargo with the writers? Yeah, definitely. this they're not kidnapped they're not children right human traffic trafficked humans kidnapped, kidnapped is still is it, uh, all inclusive okay support her okay but her legend becomes bigger i think that's good we accidentally have made a pirate queen here it's just have all the characters I make are just like girl boss queens. It just happens. As they should be. Let's let's get that straight. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, abducted is another word. Oh, fair. I think both work though. So it's... Okay. How long is she in jail? That's not important, I just... <laughs> Six months. To give her context, you could put her together with a guy that went through everything she did and changed in different ways. Gotcha. Send it a couple months, yeah. I don't know how I would put someone else in her shoes. Like, someone who's, like, the second mate, who also helped her free, who also went to jail, but cracked? Could just be childhood friends, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what to do with it, though. Building character. But 
I think Bagman is trying to self insert Lamau. <laughs> I'll throw Bagman into Crystallia right fucking now. Don't tempt me. He said I'd make Skybird, so. What? I said I already said I'd make Skybird. Yeah. Hold on, should I ask you for the languages? I gotta get the languages. Why did you just randomly vine boot? I was a mission input. Okay. Has dreams of joining the Navy and getting rich together. Guy was on a different ship and was presented, presented for a trial. Tries to break out but captured in jail separately, but then is broken down and tortured, becoming part of the problem she never has to face. Interesting. My self insert would be the main character, you fools. Lamau? Batman and Chris Jolia, he'll be one up everyone in there. Oh, yeah. Just triangle. Everyone is the MC of their own story. That's true. Everyone is the anime protagonist of their own story. Every good character needs a foil. True. I don't know why I'm like against the idea. I don't know why. Like foil in a bag, Lamau. Hey, we'll be right back. I am, um, they've made the executive decision to be done working today. So, understandable. Uh, so, so I'm just gonna swap, uh, computers. So I will be back, uh, shortly. Okay. Can make it a woman if you want more gay? Is it strange if it's a woman? Woman, which is the same thing. Tortured, kidnapped. No, I don't think that changes anything. It's done often, maybe? I don't know. It's just not clicking in my brain. Okay. Maybe have a childhood friend type that goes through same thing. I mean, okay, so like Assassin's Creed Odi Odyssey, right? Your twin brother in that game was raised by an evil cult and became evil because of it, but he was really just kind of like misunderstood and being used and taken advantage of. Like he needed help and he didn't get it. So maybe it's something similar, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's like, I don't know. Doesn't have to be a childhood friend, someone they're connected to. Maybe it's a trope that's been used too many times. Superman? Fireman. Cinnamon Succubus! Thank you so much for the raid! How have you been? Oh my god, it's been a while! Uh, hello, everybody! My name is Lorian Locke! I'm a- I'm a VTuber! I'm a- I'm a- I'm a half elf bard that was isekai to your world, and now I'm here to entertain you all with VTubing and hentai! That's right, I voice hentai. I'm a hentai voice actress. That's a true thing. If you're under 18, please get the fuck out of here. If you're over 18, please enjoy all my content. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. I'm a variety streamer. I play things like, uh, we just finished God of War 100% of that thing in 80 hours. Uh, we just- Skyward, thank you so much for the gift. It's up. Thank you for sacrificing cinnamon soul to me. <laughs> I know you're asking, how does a succubus suck the soul out of another succubus? And the answer is... Don't ask. Don't ask. What succubi do in their own free time is not your important. We're very over 18 too. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh my god, all these followers! Uh, 
Thank you so much, Spy, Sal, Chrono, uh, Chronic. Uh, welcome to the import. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. How are you guys doing today? Pathfinder build. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, everyone should be safe. Gotcha. The answer is yes, 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 yes. Uh, Apple Bun Wife. Oh my God, so many. Uh, Mo Moss fan. You're a fan of Moss? <laughs> You're a fan of Moss? Moss fan, Choco, and uh, that... Tetro guy, thank you so much, everybody. Welcome to the import. Hope you enjoy your stay. I didn't even finish my intro. Uh, uh, I'm have a bard. I voice the porn. I'm a variety streamer, and I am doing Pathfinder stuff. I'm. We are building right now. We are building a Pathfinder character. Uh, I'm learning Pathfinder too, so we're building a Pathfinder ca character. That's. Uh, we're building a character from my world, Crystalia. It's. It's uh, a living world setting. It's not ready to be released, but I've been working on it for like four years. And so, so we're building a character in that, and then we're gonna read the Pathfinder rules for the Swashbuckler, and then make this character in those rules tell me about the pathfinder builds i love acs of course of course of course we literally just made a character you can help us cinnamon if you have time uh because we're just building this fucking character uh so yeah i'm gonna thank everyone individually who came in here who came thanking everyone who came thank you for coming uh come time uh browser watching where the fuck yeah, i came at a great time come time yeah we just got raided I see, I see, I see. Retro guy, Apple Bun, welcome to the stream. How you guys doing? How are you guys? Uh, Choco Beans, welcome to the stream. How are you? Uzumaki, Uzumki, Lovecraft, welcome to the stream. <laughs> and Cinnamon it's Succubus, Sal, Moss fan, everyone, welcome, welcome. What was that card? What'd you play? What'd you play? Oh, you summoned a little Lori. There's a little Lori between us now. <gasps> Careful, don't stare into its eyes for too long. It stares back. Yeah, that's a little terrifying. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Happy anniversary! Thank you, Cinnamon. Okay, let me let me. What were you doing on your stream? Let me let me give you this character. So, this character, uh, the visual refs that I brought up are uh, this uh, by Helly Bun. This uh, humanoid puss in boots, Miss Fortune, of course, the pirate queen herself, and Marilub from Final Fantasy XIV. So close. Mir Mirob. Mer Merwob. Meryl. Meryl. Wib. Meryl Wib. Meryl Wib. Meryl Wib. Yeah. So we so you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> we watched Push and Boots last night. I still need to see that fucking movie. So we have a uh, swashbuckler. She's an orc. She's from the Water Crystal. Uh, she has fiery red hair. She's a lawful good pirate that follows her own strict pirate code to the letter. Part of her code is uh, show mercy to allies, offer surrender to enemies, aid those that need, and fair treatment to criminals. She was born in poverty in the New Water City and looked up to the Old Water City's navies, especially the specific captain. She enlisted uh, with big dreams of one day captaining her own vessel. Thank you for the little lorries. They're swarming. Uh, she rose through the ranks all the way up to being the first mate of a vessel, but little did she know the person who she looked up the most was actually a scumbag and kept the promotions from her. On one of her voyages, she accidentally found out the cargo that she was transporting was people like human trafficking people. She uh, did all she could to let them go and let them free. And then she brings up the incidents with her captain and the higher ups. And they started an investigation which ends up with her being the fall guy and she's sent to jail. Then after that, she realizes that the uh, person she looked up to was bad and the Navy was not all it was set out to be. So now she has a new mission and new goals of instead of being a pirate captain, she, uh, excuse me, Navy captain, she wants to help the people that the Navy failed, starting with all the people that was kidnapped. And then six months into her sentence, she, by pure coincidence, is kidnapped by the same mysterious group that kidnaps people. And that's all we have so far. We came up with this today with chat. Great. So, um, on the, um, not water navy it's gonna be a different a different uh empire that controls that ship uh ship she staged a riot is that what do you do to you state incite a riot incite yeah incited a riot to take over the ship It worked. It worked. Maybe here is where... I'm taking this from Assassin's Creed 4, but I really love Atawade. I think he's like the best character. A mutiny? I mean, is it a mutiny if you're the, if you're the cargo? 
She would be the cargo there, and she's staging a riot. It just works. It just works. It 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 just works. I think I think it's a mutiny if it's uh if it's the cr if the crew joins. Oh, I don't think the crew is joining. Killed the captain herself. Got to give that power. Yes. She killed the captain herself. Meets her previously captured friend that becomes a quartermaster. Reluctantly? No, she's lawful good. There's no reluctance in killing that person. <laughs> there is no reluctance there. Be a revolt or riot then? Yeah, gotcha. Maybe a few members to join? I mean, that's possible. Um, with her extensive Navy experience. She, uh, captained, I guess, the ship to personally bring the captives back to their homes. But some of the now freed peoples didn't have much of a home to go back to. Um, others gonna be a weird long sentence inspired by her courage and bravery um wanted to dedicate their time to freeing people like them weird way to phrase that freeing people unjustly captured Previous experience shows there's no guarantee captain and crew even knew about it. Oh, that's what you mean. So the captain might not even be guilty. Interesting. I don't know. Best if you never clarify that and let it be unknown. Oh, if the guy she killed was guilty or not? Okay. We can do that. I like that. Unknowns in the story. You guys can hear the music, right? Okay, let's, um... Mm... So she just becomes pirate of the ship, I guess, yeah. Lounge version of Aerith's theme. Damn, Baron, okay. Recognize the whole fucking song! Um... 
with a new crew. Dream is off and moved to Lawful after realizing certain rules need to be placed at Bloodthirsty Revenge. True. Mm, with the new crew and by burning... Uh, the sense structure feels weird to me. I'm just going to get my ideas down. And by burning the f uh, flag of the vessels previous owners she declared them I don't know how to structure this sentence. I'm going to be 100% real with you. What she are you trying to say? Pirates declared them all pirates. It sounds like she's not including himself. She took ship, became pirate. Jesus Christ. That's what I'm trying to... I'm trying to make it pretty. That's what I mean. <laughs> Burned flag. 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 Burned flag. Having the audience and the character not knowing the truth be great idea to screw the minds and the audience ask themselves if they've done the right thing or the situation works. Good, good, good. Right in shorthand, we're finding out. Yeah. Okay, so. I think we have a pretty cool character here. I agree. Not super original, but so it doesn't need to be. Yeah. I mean, it's not like misfortune is the epitome of originality. So, right. I'm so bad at this shit when I'm uh, building out of character concepts. I just point to straight bullet points, Lamau. I felt that deep in my soul. Originality is overrated. Yeah. I think the spice of this character is right here. Lawful good pirate. I think yeah. that's I think that's the real spice where we can make this character like really shiny and new. So you tell the story doesn't really matter. True, yeah. But I think I think that's there. Would she be rocking an APEC? Oh, you fucking know she would be. Thank God, honestly. So, I'm playing Minecraft, right? Right. And I keep hearing a zombie, but there's nothing here, so I'm just like... Oh, my foot's here! Hold, sorry, BRB. <gasps> Go get your food.
Hello, I'm back with food. Whew. All right, so mommy food, I gotta add time to the timer. Let's add, uh, fucking 20 minutes. Welcome back. Hmm. I know this is a good activity to eat with because I'm just typing. I'm looking up rules on Pathfinder. Orphan raised by traveling carafine, searching for epic tail to right has a bit of greed. I think I think uh, trying to find some way simply to like an elevator pitch for your character and stories is a good idea. Um, which I think we can with this character. Talking about like a uh, huge eight pack with bulging biceps, exposed nine foot pirate woman. I don't know, nine feet. How tall? How tall is she, chat? Like seven feet. Seven feet? Yeah. I think that's good. Seven feet tall. Dope. Uh, all right, chat. We have her basic story, right? She's now a pirate. This is this is a great place. Big strong orc lady. Okay, so STR build, which is interesting because we're gonna go swashbuckler. So this should be good. Um, Would it be like strength dex? Is that? Yeah. So pirates need charisma. So let's go strength, charisma, and like order from biggest to lowest. Uh, probably. Dex Khan can be here. And then uh intelligence then wisdom. Yeah. Sure. Dommy mommy sized? Any size is dommy mommy sized. Proof. It's not the size of the mommy. It's the size of the dommy. Um, okay, so we can we can do uh, thieving skills. I don't think they'd have thieving skills specifically. Because this would be more of like, you know, a military you know. person. Oh, well, that's fair. All right, so give me like traits and details. Like, what does she like to eat? Codes that she follows strictly as a pirate. Um... Things she liked and doesn't like. Uh, character quirks. Things like that. Personality traits. We could do something like that. Could always make them lean. Nah. Chad has demanded an eight-pack dummy mommy. Who am I to deny them what they deserve? I have to get ice for my, uh, for my Diet Coke, BRB.
Hello, I'm back. Welcome back. I got distracted by. <laughs> Walk with the dog, Mr. Outdated. Could make them steadfast in their conviction. Stubborn? Could do stubborn. Uh, personality. Go stubborn. I saw flirty. I don't know, they can really be anything. The sky's the limit. True. Paralyzed by choice. female pirates to bit over done you know i think you're right ow shit ow burning your mouth are you good no that was my knee i fucking hit my knee uh oh i'm having a time combatant smarts yeah i mean swashbuckler although the more i'm writing i'm just like this could also be a champion which i think is funny Mr. Data wants an H inch donger on her. Thank you. Ow. Motherly figure to the crew? Motherly. Motherly. Do pirates have a tendency to be superstitious? I don't know what superstitious really means in a fantasy world. Udacock would be perfect, but I'm not gonna push for that. Okay, okay, chat. All right. Horny. Horny. <laughs> Shooting a little short. Don't rub your knee, then good luck goes away. Okay. <laughs> Apparently eight inches is small for Twitch chat. Jesus Christ. God damn. Now hold on, she's a swashbuckler, right? So that could inform us of who she is, right? Because we have Puts in Boots, Misfortune, and Merob. Merob yeah. is like straight to the point. I kind of like that. Yeah. Straight to the point. Um, flare. Well, there needs to be flare. She's. I guess there doesn't have to be, but since we're making a swashbuckler, we can give her like some dramatic flare. Does anyone know how to? I think it's in format, right? That's not it. How do I kill this page stuff so it's just like one document? Or is it in view? Yeah, no. It's helpful. Yeah, okay. You know what subclass you're going for swash? No idea. Gymnast, for instance, doesn't need to be very uh, charismatic. We're making the character first, then looking at the rules. Is that a bad idea? Yes, but I feel like it's more true to them? I don't know. I never want a character to be restricted by rules in a game basically. So, Alan. I want to make the character first and then try to figure them out in-game. So, I know generally what a squash bunker is. I play one in Pathfinder 1, but... And right now, Swashbuckler hasn't informed anything in her character except pirate. So, 
I do like putting the swashbuckler in here. Seven foot tall, dramatic player lady. Here for this. Hmm. Mostly for the seven foot tall lady part, but you know. I think I think my mind is just going to flirty. I need to I need to break out of my comfort zone here. Because I'm just like, okay, swashbuckling pirate, and she has to be dramatic and be flareful. Flirty. No! No flirty. Sling insults, but that doesn't feel very lawful. Empowering presence? Stoic? Stoic, I feel like, is kind of the opposite of a swashbuckler. Can you be stoically flary? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can be. Okay, so instead of... Instead of, like, dramatic and pompous... Right? Yeah. She's confident and... Do you need Flair to be a swashbuckler? I, I'm just playing with it right now. So instead of, like, you know, je ne sais quoi, just, like, confident and, uh... I don't know what words I'm looking for. Either otherwise I would help. Mm -hmm. Still it could work, yeah. Cool. That's the word. Cool. Cool. Because, you know, we think of, like, a three musketeer type who's, like, doing flips and shit, right? But I think it's good at speeches, not at small talk. I like that. That's a cool detail. That informs the character. I really like that one. So... So this is a different take on like a, you know, a swashbuckler that's always like shouting and doing flips and shit. This is just like a stoic, cool swashbuckler that like, you know, only moves when she has to. Like a dedicated yeah. fighter and is still able to, you know, you still look at them with awe and just like, holy shit, as they like, you know, effortlessly disarm someone. I think that's, that's yeah. the swashbuckler we're looking for. There we go. Not a flirty... No bimbos here. No flirty bimbos here. I'm the only bimbo here. Every move is intentional? Yes. Okay. I think this is good. Does anyone have any last minute thoughts or ideas? But I think we have a character here, generally. Look at him go. Look at him. You're gonna add Atlantis characters as part of her crew? Yeah. Alright, so... Quartermaster. Master. 
quartermaster. There we go. Okay, so quartermaster, second in command. I really like Adewale from Assassin's Creed 4. Adewale. The quartermaster from Assassin's Creed 4, right? So I think. I think we might be losing the mountains for the molehills here, but I do want to design her quartermaster, which would be from one of the two groups that she first freed. So this character is going to be a foil. If this was a video game, this character would just be on the deck standing. A quartermaster is someone that takes care of the crew, makes sure all of their needs are met, pays them. Um, if anyone has any complaints, the quartermaster deals with it. Uh, that's what the quartermaster does, like really responsible ability, right? So... I kind of want to design this quartermaster then based on that, because I feel like this foil informs the character. So somebody said outlandish. That's fun. I like that as a character trait. I think that's just fun. Just generally just outlandish? Yeah. More charismatic. Bring out the flare. It's funny that, like, everyone needs charisma on a pirate ship. Because if people don't like yeah. you, they will throw you over. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna write something down. Okay? No huh. one yell or, or get angry with me, right? I'm just gonna write something down. We're gonna see how I feel. Okay? All right, I'm just gonna write something down. Oh no. I, hold on. I don't know, but I don't know. I gotta go look. Chat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not another one. <laughs> say this with all the love in the world one is already too many <laughs> what do you mean one i think we have how many bars do we have sapphire siren lori we have two bars <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. right here on rest a ranger maybe ranger now that's interesting why a ranger convince me of ranger I'm definitely thinking backline. Yeah, because she's supposed to cover for a seven foot tall woman. So obviously, the obvious foil is, uh, you know, a shorty. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. Short, but not at all intimidated by her captain. Is that cliche? You bet your fucking ass it is. Do I care? No. They're gay, is what you're telling me. Historians will call them roommates. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Listen, I feel like every captain is a little gay for their quartermaster. I, I'm i not disagreeing. Can someone point me to a captain who's not at least a little gay for their quartermaster? <laughs> One of the few that isn't? Get sneak attacks. Okay, 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 okay. Bagman said Fox Girl. I didn't say Fox Girl. Bagman did. Oh, wait a minute. So wait a minute. Make a Fox Girl bard is what you're saying. One of many. Wait. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. I see your Fox Girl. Let me raise you. Cat Girl. Why me? She eats the rats. <laughs> I hate this so much. I need you to know.
A gnome? Just a gnome? Just a little oh, gnome? Yes. <laughs> I don't know where gnomes even come. Do we have gnomes? I don't know. <laughs> We haven't before because of other stuff, so like. Vishkanya? What is that? Bloodslinger. Okay, it was a mistake to write bard. I don't really mean a class. I just did that as a funny shorthand. Because when I say bard, we all know what that means. We all know what I mean by bard. It was just a shorthand. Oh, if she's a bard, can lead sea shanties. Thank you, Mr. Outdated. All right, that informs us enough. Charismatic, outlandish. Gnomes are outlandish. Uh, they might eat the rats. Yeah, just like a real, a real, a real character, you know? Just like just a little guy. Just a little guy. Oh, that's good. Just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Whittle guy. Perfect. All right, I think we are finally ready to uh, actually look at pathfinder oh my god and i also just realized i didn't change the stream title to pathfinder of course not i don't think i've ever known you to correctly uh listen swaddle is not in the base yeah. book all right so let's read <clears throat> You don't want to negotiate with the captain, so let's keep things nice and simple while you have me. Yeah, I like it. I like it, Bagman. I'm swallowing my food. Give me a second. Many warriors rely on brute force, weighty armor, or cumbersome weapons. These are Orpheid humanoids with venom, blood, and saliva. I don't think we have those. <laughs> um, many warriors rely on brute force, mighty armor, and cumbersome weapons. Battle is a dance where you move around foes with style and grace. You dart among combatants with flair and land powerful finishing moves with a flick of a wrist and the flash of your blade. All while countering attacks with elegant repose that keep enemies off balance. Harass... Harassing and thwarting your foes that let you charm fate and cheap death time again with a poem and plenty of flair. Yeah, Swag Brothers are very specific in their style. Very specific in their flavor. I think it still works, but, um... Yeah, kind of like Virgil Devil May Cry, right? You don't think of him as a swashbuckler, right? And, like, have that Three Musketeers type, but, like, you know. He doesn't have weighty armor, covers the weapons. He has an amazing flair. He's serious, he reposts, he counters, he kills people, no wasted movement. So I feel like that's what I feel like with this character. Like that's the swashbuckler type that we've we've made this pirate lady to be. Exactly, yeah. I'm here for it. Like Virgil Devil May Cry. Yeah, reading that is what uh with what gave me the idea. Uh still stylish. Lots of flair, but not typically musketeery. Uh, stoic, badass, no wasted movement. So swashbucklers are weeble like Virgil? Yes. Okay. Lamau. Well, look on enemy's face when she pulls out a cutlass instead of a battle axe and proceeds to parry kill everyone? Yeah, literally. Key terms. Finisher. 
Finisher? I barely know her. Aha. Uh -huh. Soundboard, why do you why do you taunt me, Soundboard? Why don't you play the thing? It's funnier this way, I think. But um shh. Thank you, Sky uh, Soundboard. I almost said Skybird. <clears throat> Finishers a special finishing move that you use your panache. We didn't even get to panache yet. You can only use a finisher if you have panache. You lose your panache immediately be after performing a finisher. Once you use a finisher, you can't uh, act you can't use actions that have the attack trait for the rest of your Jesus fucking Christ. Some actions of the finisher trait also grant an effect on failure. Effects added on a failure don't apply on a critical failure. If your finisher action succeeds, you could still choose to apply the crit failure effect instead. For example, you might want to do this when attack deals no damage due to resistance. Okay. Hernopolis, stay safe in the Winter Storm. Storm. Flourish. Actions with this trait or a special technique require too much exertion for your body for frequently. You can only use one action with a flourish trait per turn. Why does it... Wait, what? Why doesn't Bardic Inspiration have something like that? You can literally just perform all three of your actions. You can perform three songs every turn. <laughs> okay. Stance. A stance is a general... Oh, fi this fighters have these, I think. To enter an action with the stance trait, you remain that stance for some time. The stance lasts as long as you get knocked out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, so stance is kind of her pivot, pivotal, pivot, pivot tall to combat classes. Okay, so during combat encounters, you show off to gain panache, leveraging your flair to build up for powerful finishing moves. You stay nimble, moving into the best position to perform your maneuvers while dodging enemy blows and responding with stiff posts. Depending on your swatch or styles, you might dance around your foes, slip past their defenses, or be wild distract and frighten them. You are equally likely to charm or intimidate others, or both. You might be slight adept socialite, or you might be creating distractions for others or your thing while exploring. You keep careful eye surround other people. Always prepare to action bravo and flare. Monks have the most feats involving them. Makes sense. You might cross the tavern, require maintain your armament, or train a new learn technique. You maintain your professor meditation. You might build an organization of your name or team following admirers. Like a pirate ship! Like a pirate crew! There you go! Another entire character's built wrong chances. That's cool. You might portray yourself as a historic dear roguish braggart, knowing that you can live up to the image you present. Hold yourself in high esteem, confidence in your ability and reputation. Probably this one a little bit. Practice your skills and maneuvers regulation shirt. Well, yeah, she's a soldier, so. Admire your theatrics, bravo, and skills with the blade. Find you arrogant unless they know you well enough to appreciate your style. Underestimate how much of a threat you pose until they face you at the end of your deadly blade. Yes! Yes! Reception. Fortitude. Re well, I mean, this is just. Oh, you're automatically trained in acrobatics. Okay. We might have to make our big orc lady dex based. But if you think about acrobats uh -huh. they're pretty muscular too we can make her a muscular seven foot yeah. lady with a, a strength dump you know dexterity yeah. is another type of strength it's just like flexibility as opposed to flexing muscles fair Here we go. Who cares as much about the way you accomplish something as to whether you actually accomplish it in the first place? When you perform, that's good. That's good for a lawful good pirate. I like that. When you perform an action with a particular revival, you can leverage the amount of diverged stats for deadly maneuvers. Uh, this state of flair is called panache. Either in a state of panache or- Oh my god, wait a minute! Oh! Panache is a state! It's a status! It's it's not a point in, in Pathfinder One you had panache points equal to your charisma that you you spent to do things. Here it's just you're balling or you're a faker. Love it, love it. 
You are either based or you are cringe. <laughs> you got it or you don't? Easy, yeah. I mean, I like the point system. I, I love shit like that, but I'll, I'm gonna try this. The game patch with simply performing skill check associated actions have a bit of flair, including the tumble through and action to promote your swashbuckler style. At the GM's discretion, after seeing a check performing particularly daring feats, such as swinging on a chandelier or sliding down a drapery, you also get panache if your result is high enough. Huh. So you might tumble through someone just to get panache, which I think is cool. That's very Devil May Cry. You don't yeah. do what's optimal, you do what's cool. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, it's fair. Hello. We're doing Pathfinder stuff. Yeah. Okay. Crow is also at work, so. No, I'm not at work anymore. Not at work. Never mind. While you have panache, you gain five status bonus to your speed. Love it. And a plus one circumstance bonus to tumble through or any actions that would give you panache to your. Wait, what? When you have panache, you have a plus one bonus to actions that give you panache? Why? Okay. The precise strike class feature also lets you deal extra damage with your. When, while you have panache. Oh, so that's just. While you have panache, you have precise strike. That's cool. I don't like Pathfinder one. Yeah, that's good. Powerful finishing action, including confident finisher, can be used only while you have panache and you lose it panache. Normally, you gain panache in combat encounters. When the encounter ends, you lose panache. Oh! How many times can Lori say panache in one sentence? <laughs> this is very video gamey. I know I keep saying that, but it's like you're in combat, you work to get your panache, and then when you get panache, you're a fucking baller. And then if you want to super use your super move, you have to spend the panache, and then if the fight keeps going, you gotta get your panache. Yeah, I'll see. I, I can take that. You, you have to dash through an opponent to get like a temporary buff. Like yeah. Samira League of I was, Legends. I was gonna say Samira, yeah. but Samira is very Devil May Cry, so and yeah. we were already talking about. Uh, I, I don't know that character, but I, it does not surprise me at all that there's a character who does that. Actually, yeah. Samira is literally a swashbuckler, right? Because yeah. she does so. cool things, she builds up their panache, and then literally she gets movement speed, and then she blows her ultimate, a finisher, to yeah. lose panache. Wow. This has quickly turned into a build Samira in Pathfinder. Video. Oh no. <laughs> Swash Buckler. Baby. Oh, are you actually making one? A character? Yeah. I'm making. We just uh, came up uh, with Twitch chat. We just made a whole ass pirate character. She's awesome. Oh, okay. I've never really been super into the uh, Swash Buckler character because of how, uh, how gamey it feels. But that's, you know. Mm. I, I never really. I always enjoyed playing a lot. I will heavily enable their bullshit. Lori recognizes the reference, so you need uh, a nose to that sort of thing? Oh, what reference? There's one more thing I want to put. Oh, Samira. Oh. Uh, Nash is only gotten and kept in combat. What's Samir's last name? 
Does she have one? Oh yeah! Smear League of Legends, I forgot. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I was gonna say, mostly champions don't have the last name League of Legends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cyrano de Bergerac reference, Panache was his thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I read Cyrano de Bergerac. I fucking love Cyrano de Bergerac. Holy shit, that was a good one. What is that? It is a French... I think it's a play. It might be a just a book, though. Uh, it's a French story about a um, really ugly... No, he's not an ugly guy. It's a guy with like a really massive nose with m infinite riz. So, uh, he loves this girl. Who has, like, the amount of, like, sex you have, right? Like, sex appeal. Sex yeah. appeal, so, like, sexual charisma. Uh -huh. So they're, um... Th that, that thing that I love. Mood! Not when you're in here. Uh -huh. So, uh, he was in love with this... Uh, I have two background music playing. Let me kill the Star Guardians real quick. They are dead. You don't have to worry about them anymore. Wow. Okay. That was fast. Uh, yeah, Cyrano de Bergerac, uh, he was in love with a woman uh, who was like his childhood best friend. And, uh, you know, he loved her so much. But he was like, I'm never going to be with her because I have a giant massive nose. So she's never going to love me. So then this other guy with zero riz, but he's, he's like a himbo. This himbo comes up. Zero riz. He's like, oh my god, I'm in love with this girl. I'm in love with this girl. Someone's gotta help me. So Cyrano Bergerac is just like, all right, I will help you. Uh, I will help you cock me. I will help you get the girl that I love, basically. And so there's there's a famous scene where uh, they're like at her balcony at her house, and Cyrano is hiding behind the bushes and literally feeding lines to this guy to say to his love. No. And then he dies in a battlefield alone. Great book. Amazing. Yeah. So he, he, like, dates someone by proxy and then, like, dies. Yeah. He yeah. must, like, three... <laughs> what? Is it good for him? Good for him, yeah. The himbo dies in the battlefield? Oh, the himbo dies in the battle. Where does Cyrano die? Does he just die, like, poor on the street? Uh, yeah, Cyrano de Bergerac and the Three Musketeers are basically the inspiration for the, uh, Swashbuckler class. Okay. Because he was also an incredibly good fighter. Oh! There's another famous scene from that, uh, where, um, he is in a bar with a whole bunch of friends, and then there is, he dies of a head injury. While he lost everything, he never lost his panache. Yes. Toxic masculinity. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. Um. Uh. Uh. Fucking. There's a scene in a in like a bar, or was it? A, it might be a theater. Uh, where uh this noble guy comes in, and I think he also likes the woman. Uh, and he really just pissed off at Cyrano de Bergerac, so he points at him, and he's just like, "You!" Everybody stop! Like everyone stops because this noble is like in here and he's pointing at things, so everyone looks, and then so he's just like, "You! You have a big nose." That's what he says. So then Cyrano is like, is that really the best you have? And then he proceeds to run off, off the top of his head, 20 insults, miles better than the insult that the noble game, and just embarrass the shit out of him. The fact that the noble pulls the sword and tries to kill him, and Cyrano whips his butt. Are you just making one of those uh, gay pirates, or are you doing like a separate thing? Uh, a separate thing. I'm just here for. I'm, I'm vibing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I completely. After I, I used all that, I had to recharge for a second. Anyway, I'm back. That's okay. Panache. Hmm. As a swashbuckler, you have your instinct sound that enables you to gracefully handle life and death situation. Choose a swashbuckler and determine addition action to use to gain your panache here. Okay, swashbuckler styles. Let's see. 
Think of Sarah Grace, life, death situation. Choose to swatch my other side. Blah, 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 blah. Exemplary finisher. Wait, I haven't seen- are finishers part of the class feats? I haven't seen any finishers yet. They might be. You might have to pick a certain one, because that's how some of my spellcasting stuff is. Gotcha. Are there other pirates than gay pirates? Probably not. No. Confirm. Cyrano is 100% a bro- yeah, I fucking love Cyrano. One of my favorite <clears throat> non-Shakespeare fictional characters, I think. Maybe that's where my NTR thing comes from. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Antenna? Uh oh. <laughs> Lori learning things about herself today. There is one finisher that comes with the base. These are the other finisher feats. These are the other finisher feats. So is there only one there finisher? Are other... Now they're, they're saying there's one finisher that comes with each base. There are other. Oh. I'm guessing they did like one finisher for free, but you can yeah. check into other finishers. Yeah, so they get confident finisher for free. Why is this here? Does precise strike have a limit, like only no nimble weapons or some shit? Yep, there we go. Agile, finesse melee weapon. Yep. Oh, two damage. Okay. One of the things that's really, like, grating about learning Pathfinder is that there are loads of keywords that are like little babushkas that, that have, like, or matrushkas yeah. that, that have, like, other keywords inside of them. And those Beautiful. that can have also have other keywords inside of them. Wait, what? Oh, so even if you miss, you do half damage? That's the finisher? That's it? Half damage on a miss? I mean, that's pretty good. I, I guess I, it's level one finisher. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah. But... So, like, what is Precise Strike? So, Precise Strike is uh, when you have Panache and you strike with an Agile or Finesse melee weapon, or an Agile or Finesse unarm attack, so light weapons, basically, uh, you get plus two damage oh, okay. whenever you have Panache, whenever you attack. If you do a Finisher, it increases to 2d6 damage. And that increases as you... Oh. Uh, Level so up. It's, it's a safer attack that deals bonus damage rather than finish, right? Yes, yes. It's a safer attack that does bonus damage, yeah. So you increase your damage, and even if you miss, if, as long as you don't crit fail, you still do half of your damage. Which is <laughs> something. I think I've played a, sw a swashbuckler. But not in a D and D game, or like not in a fantasy game. But I, I have played one in like a mech game, basically. That's hilarious. Was there any like super mech flavor for it? Uh, I think she was like a rose themed knight of like a noble family who who had like a. Uh, I think it was like she, she was adopted into a noble family, but only because she was really good at robots. And like, when she was not doing robots, the, the rest of her family kind of hates her. Oh. And she was just constantly, basically just being Ada Wong and then just being mysterious for, for mysterious bullshit's sake and flirting with everyone. <laughs> I love it. Plus 2d6 on a success. 0.5 on a failure? 
Oh, for the strike? Yeah. So you, I'm guessing you roll all of your weapon damage and just cut that by half, like a spell. Maybe she finished that, that like, one shot by having a sword fight on top, like, in person, on top of two mechs with another person. <laughs> Um, I ended up doing like one of those like Assassin's Creed swan dives off of it and deploying a parachute and then just vanishing out of the story. Beautiful, beautiful, ideal. Tbh. Oh, the parachute was shaped like a rose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's fair to say that that's like a twenty five. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, Could you please turn the guest volume up? Okay. Oh, Emma. I'm sorry, I need to go for a bit. I might be back in like half an hour or an hour or so. Okay, no problem, yeah. I hope you have a lot of fun making this watch parkour, and I hope to see you later. Thank you, yeah, thanks for joining us. Mm. Yeah, see you soon. Yeah. Wait, it's only... Wait, what do you mean? Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's bad! Oh no. Oh, you don't even add your weapon damage! It's only the precise strike damage! Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad! <laughs> Wait, exemplary finisher? Wait, I'm confused. What is this? I think Braggart is the way to go. Battle Dancer's fucking sexy. Not for this character. I'm eyeing Battle Dancer. Yeah. Exemplary looks like a higher level class feature. Oh, at ninth level. Got you. Confidence is not great, so you pick other ones later on. Exemplary adds to your finishers. You do. Okay. All finishers? Every single finisher has that trait? Oh, wow. Every single finisher has that trait. Your foe is flat-footed until next turn. Amazing. Ignore immunity to demoralize. That's terrifying. Um, Battle Dancer can step. That's really good. Calm is not great, so you pick on... Yeah. Okay, Fencer. Uh, Gymnast. Oh, okay. Ninja dancing in the video clip of Rolling in the Deep. Stop. So, this might work too if we have a strength uh, swashbuckler, right? Oh my god, this one gives you the Bon Mott skin, which is like the best, best skill feat in the game. Well, then there you go. Oh, no, we're not taking that. Okay, well. <sighs> I don't hate Fencer either. Beefy Swashbuckler might like a Ginless a lot. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Okay, so what kind of build? If we're going Bragg, we're going an Intimidation build. Which I like, but we kind of already did that with the Dragon Queen is going like full intimidation. That's fair. Where the where is it? Skill feats, like intimidating prowess, terrifying resistance. Yeah. So to do something different, let's explore what the game has for uh Mott is pronounced like Mo. Most a uh, Bon Mo? Bon Mo. Bon Mott sounds so much better. So let's not do Braggart, even though I do like it. Uh, train to Deception. No, let's do Gymnast. Let's 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 fucking let's fuck people up. Also, guys, if you want, we have a ton of things to name. If people want to just like shout names out, audience participation. We need a name for our swashbuckler pirate lady, our seven foot tall orc pirate. We need a name for our ship. 
uh, a name for the evil captain, if you want, and a name for our sexy quartermaster. They're all sexy, Liz. Everyone's sexy, yeah. Maybe that's what we sell the world on. It's it's a high it's a high magic fantasy world where everyone's sexy. Yeah, I think I mean it would work. Mm -hmm. Jackie Monarco. Hmm. You know, I don't hate Jackie. Jackie feels like a pirate name. Ruka Blood Tongue. I don't think Blood Tongue is really what we're going for. I don't know if she'd have a last name if she was poor. Is that a right reserved for rich people? I don't... Yeah, it is, baby. Okay. Only people with families get last names. Well. Jacqueline is for full name, Jackie for short. I mean, Jackie could be a full name. Yeah. Spock Lumber seems skill feats, great fortitude, opportune repose. Oh, you just get this. You just get this reaction. All swashbucklers just get opportunity repose. Okay. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, that's awesome. I bet there's going to be a feat that gives you more than one reaction so you could use opportunity post and attack of opportunity. Whenever someone crit fails against you, you get to hit them. Ooh. That's awesome. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Skill increases. Right, stylish tracks. Wait, what? Jolly Jackie? Jolly Jackie? Sounds like a really awesome ship name. The Jolly Jackie. Okay, I think we I hate it. I think we're taking Jackie away from the character so we can call the ship the Jolly Jackie. I mean, technically it should probably be something like the Liberation Force, but uh, Jolly Jackie. Fat Damsel. That's a good ship name. I do kinda love that. Fat Damsel? Yeah. Well, it's Baron's. It's Baron's ship. Pinky plump butters. I think it's the jolly part. Yeah. Well, the alliteration. Oh, like Jolly Roger. Oh, shit. Is that on the nose? Oops. Fat bastard. <laughs> Stop. You know used it years ago? All right. You're sure. Uh... What was it? The fat lady? Yeah. I, I loved it and then I completely forgot what it was. Yeah, mood. Fat damsel. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't understand this one. What? Stylish tracks. What does it do? What does it say it does? Uh, at third level, seventh level, fifteen level, you gain a skill feat. This must be acrobatics. So it's just extra skill feats. I guess. 
Okay. Three additional feats just for acrobatics. Or, uh, what does Swashbuckler have? Shit, I don't know. What did we get for our start? Athletics? Athletics. Okay, so athletics or acrobatics. So... Was it like... Three, seven, fifteen. And stylish. What's up, Tyrese? Can think of it, you look very different. Something's different about me? I don't know. What's different about me? Did anyone notice anything different about me today? I'm wearing the same clothes. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's sick. That's a third level? What does it do? Uh, it increases your, your, uh, your speed when you have panache. And even when you don't have panache, you get half of the bonus. 